Turn that baby on. Houston, we got action. As you see, we got the connector made. Driving like they scared, dog. OBS ain't here to play no games with them. And I got these seats on the back, man. It don't start it raining. I'm trying to get to this storage unit fast as I can. I swear, boy. You never know what it's gonna do around here. The weather gonna be good today, too. Ain't like in the sadness. About to rain. I don't think it's gonna rain for long, but I don't want the seats to get messed up, so we on our way to the Sturge. What's good? It's your boy Southside Nate, and we back with another episode of the Box Chevy Bill. And today, man, we getting straight to the action on summer rain, man. Y'all see, I got my little gas line over here. Had to test out the fuel pump. Got to get that figured out because I disconnected all the stock fuel pump stuff. So I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna have to make my own connect from the fuel pump. We're gonna touch on that in a little bit. But um, I've been doing my research. And I've been figuring out that this right here, this pink wire, this is a um, 12 volt signal wire switch. So when you turn the ignition, that baby right there get 12 volts. When you cut it off, it don't. What else? I've been looking at a lot of videos on this bulkhead. They seem to be the same across GM. But I think this top one, one guy was saying this top red wire is main power. This bottom red one is like the alternator, the purple is the starter. And then this pink one is the ignition, 12 volt switch. And all of those wires run to this fuel box and some of these connectors up here somehow. You see that white connector right there? That's the brake switch. They got three on it, a white, an orange, and a blue, an all black with a blue line on it. So you're going, I'm gonna need those. I'm gonna need those. I gotta get up under here and figure out everything that go for the turn signals, brake lights, 
headlights, high beam, all that stuff for the Dakota Digital. So I gotta figure out what wires those is. I need that brake switch wire for the transmission and the throttle body harness. So those two harnesses, both of them got a wire that hooks up to that brake switch. So I'm gonna have to get off up in that. But yeah, that fuse box back there, I kind of want to take it off, but I think it's connected to the firewall, connected to that bulkhead somehow. But yeah, it got a whole bunch of empty things on the side over there that said ignition. Probably could have tapped into that somehow. One, two, three, three of them that say ignition and got a wire pointed to them. So I'm pretty sure it's a way you can tap into that. All right, so where I'm at now is I'm just double checking my stuff work through all the wires. And I got all the wires fed in the car. I ain't even say nothing about that. It's wet down there right now. I can't show y'all, but maybe y'all can see it from the top. But I got the transmission. I got the main Holly harness and the transmission harness going through the firewall. Got rubber grommets on them, everything. I just had to open the hole up just a little bit more to be able to fit the connector through with the um, relay on it. I took the relay part off with just the, like the bottom part relay connector on it. Open the hole a little bit more, got the relay, got the wires through. So all the wires are fed from the engine bay to the inside of the car for everything. I even got my arm, um, this is for the map sensor. My vacuum line for the map since I even got that ran through the firewall. So everything that come from the outside of the car to the inside and vice versa has been done. So boom. Where I'm at now is I'm trying to wire up the Dakota Digital Dash. I already got the sensors wired in. I got the switch wired in. I just... I got a hook of a ground wire. I just made the wires for the 12 volt constant power. And I made the wire for the 12 volt switch power. The key on power. And then this right here is the Holly Terminator X Max wire harness. It need the same thing. Switch power. Constant power. These are the loose wires that are in the wire harness. So it's switch power, constant power, fuel pump, chassis ground, and tack output. I got the blue and white tack output hooked up to the Dakota Digital Dash where it says it's for tack right there. So I already got that hooked up. It said it come from the ignition box or the ECM. So since it's coming from the ECM, I got that hooked up to the digital dash from the Holly Terminator X Max wire harness. All right, so the green, I'm gonna have to make a connector for my fuel pump. I'm trying to figure that out. But it's a green loose wire that triggers the fuel pump. And then I guess I'm gonna have to do the same thing for over here. It's just gonna be the sand from the fuel pump and the ground from the fuel pump for the Dakota Digital Dash. And then the signal from the fuel, from the um, fuel pump connector will go straight to the Digital Dash. That's the fuel level sensor. Fuel level sensor. I keep saying signal, but the sensor, yeah. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Let me show y'all what I'm gonna use to make the connector. What they call them, Deutsch. Deutsch connectors or whatever. So this one right here is for three wire. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna make the connector for the fuel pump and the wire harness, boom. Cause everything, the, the fuel pump stuff, the stock fuel pump stuff, I disconnected. Wasn't no need to leave it up there. All right. 
another thing I did, these wires right here, I'm gonna go over it once I hook everything up too. But all the stuff that connected this side, which would be the tail lights, ECM check engine light output, parking brake switch, high beam, left turn signal, right turn signal. I don't need four by four. I probably use cruise control. A few of them I don't need, but I got some wires right here that I'm gonna use to connect all these once I find out where they tap in at. All of them are different color wires. So I think it's like seven, six or seven of these that I need. And they all will be a different color wire. So they came from the stock wire harness. Yeah. The wires I'm gonna use to make the connector for the fuel pump came from the stock wire harness. So what I had to do, let me get down here and show y'all this right quick. All right, so this right here is the connector from the stock wire harness that connects to the fuel pump, which is this. Now this is an aftermarket sending unit that's on there. Before I started rebuilding this car, I had put it in the shop. They had to replace the fuel pump. So that sending unit is fairly new, but you see the wires are a different color. You know, that's ground the black wire ground. So the purple wire, I didn't know what was the purple wire and I didn't know what was the gray wire. One of these wires is gonna have to connect to the Holly Terminator X Max wire harness, fuel pump signal wire and turn it on. And the other one is the sensor, the fuel level sensor wire. So the gray one is the signal wire and the, um, well, the gray one is the power wire, fuel pump power wire, and the purple one is the signal. The hook to the dashboard fuel level sender thing. So I'm gonna make my own connector for that. And the way I figured it out is, I just tested it. Took the little prongs, one hook to the positive side of the battery, and the black one to the negative. And when you touch that gray, you can hear the fuel pump activate. All right, so black to the black. Red one to the gray. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is pumping gas. It's leaking. That's what we were smelling, Will. It's leaking. It's leaking at the fuel filter. Oh, okay. Yeah, so them, I'm gonna have to get on them fuel filter lines. Yeah, I just seen it this time. Y'all see it dripping up there? The fuel filter line. Yup. So I'm glad I did test that out and figure out which is which. Definitely have to get over there and tighten that up. I'm gonna have to get on that ASAP. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that right quick. I'm gonna have to make my own connector for the fuel pump. Now these wires right here, these are all my 12 volt switch wires. This purple and white one is for the Dakota Digital Dash 12 volt switch. One of these red and white ones is from the main harness 12 volt switch. And this one is from the transmission harness 12 volt switch. These are the two grounds from the transmission harness and the main wire on standalone harness. What I'm gonna do What I'm thinking about doing, planning on doing, is using this for a 12 volt switch power source. Yeah, so what I do is I, I make a solid ground, connect to this, and then I got six grounds up here that I can use. And then I hook the ignition 12 volt switch power to this. And I got six 12 volt switch power things I can use. I already know three of them gonna be occupied for the um the digital dash, the main wire harness, and the transmission harness. I know somebody was asking me about wiring my sunroof. I might even run my sunroof wire to one of these. It's gonna be 12 volt switch and it's gonna be fused. So nothing serious. 
It's straight to the ignition. It won't be connected to the radio or nothing. But that's exactly how I'm gonna run my own sunroof straight to this. I'm gonna run the ground to this and I'm gonna run the power to it. I know somebody would tell me like hook my own relay up to the, I think it'll be fine, honestly. But if not, I figure out another way to do it. Something I ain't researched yet, but it's just an idea. It's something I might try. And these are the main power wires from both of those. One from the standalone, both of the standalones, the transmission and the engine standalone. And this wire right here is from the transmission. It goes to the brake switch, a gray wire. It's from the transmission wire harness. Yeah, so all this stuff is pretty simple. Just got to make sure you wire it to the correct place. Yeah, because the um, the Dakota Digital Dash say the 12 volt constant should be fused, even the 12 volt switch should be fused. That's why I hook it to that. But the constant, I'll probably run that to a battery source, a different battery source, and I gotta connect it to one of these. I could throw a 20 amp fuse in there. Yeah. And a Holly Terminator for the battery. Shouldn't should be connected directly to the battery. Yeah, so that's for the fuel pump relay. And the injectors. It's already fused. So yeah, I can just hook that directly to the battery. All right, so it say do not, so it say do not connect to a dirty source like ignition coil. Let me look that up right quick, see what I can find out when I cut y'all back on. So this is what I did. Since I read this right here and it say do not connect to a dirty source like ignition coil, I ain't gonna use that pink wire. Now, when I was over there looking at that fuse box, it's a couple of different, it's like three connectors that got ignition written beside it. So I grabbed my voltmeter, tested it, and see if it was key on switch power, and it is. So I already hooked the Dakota Digital Dash up. I still ain't got the Holly, none of the Holly power stuff hooked up. This is all Dakota Digital from the battery ground and this is the 12 volt signal and these the grounds from the battery turn that baby on houston we got action mm -hmm. and that's just the dash coming on she cut off when i turn the key off all right so now that i got that figured out i think i still can wire the holly jumps up here to here but it's two more spots over there on that fuse box that I might just wire them straight to that. Really, it's three spots, just enough for what I needed. So I'm either gonna wire them to here or that. But I did figure that out. So on the stock box, Chevy fuse box over there. It's a light on right there, what is that? My phone. Oh, okay. On the fuse box over there, it got three available slots for ignition. And that's why I ran this purple wire to, and then ran it to this. I tested this before I even hooked the on digital dash up to make sure that it transferred the power right. But yeah. Yes, sir. I wanna go ahead and get that hooked up too because I definitely gotta figure out all the rest of these wires. Brake, all that good stuff. You can see 
Now right there in the corner, you see that purple wire going in there? It said ignition, and then it's two at the top. They say the same thing. It's hard to get some light up in here. Two at the top, they say ignition. Stuck that purple wire in there, turn the key, she got power. What is it called a digital mean? Yes, sir. Yeah, please set fuel sender. Please set cal calibration. So this thing does have to be calibrated for the miles. But yeah. The volts, you see the, see the volt thing working over there. Of course, the fuel, the temp, none of that's gonna work right now because none of the engine stuff is connected. Man, as you change everything out, it's coming, it's gonna be zero miles, man. Yeah, this is a new, this a brand new dash, so yeah. They, they got an um, feature where you can go in there and set the miles to like whatever the car was. Mm -hmm. But with that engine being zero, I'm gonna leave it, cause the engine fresh, so I'm gonna leave it at zero. That way I know exactly how many miles on that engine. Yeah, the engine, the rear end, I want to get the transmission refreshed too. So that way I'll be able to know exactly how many miles on all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to start off at the same time. But yeah. That way if I ever was to resell, I can tell this, this many miles on the rebuild, yada, yada, yada. I doubt I sell my baby though, but you know, my fuck come with that bag. Yeah. They can have. Yeah, that ran the right cash. They can have. <laughs> But yeah, check me out. Check me out, YouTube. This is exciting. All right, so now, all right, we're making some, we're making some leeway now. It's it's a few more things I gotta do before I can um start the car. I gotta calibrate the throttle pedal and the throttle body. It gotta be calibrated. It's in the instructions before you start the car. But yeah, what else we got? What else we got? Now that I got that figured out. Do I want to go ahead and make my connector for the fuel pump? That way I can go ahead and have that ran to the fuel pump. Get that out of the way. And I got to get down here and check these lines. Check these lines on this um, fuel filter because it was leaking. But yeah, the wires look crazy right now. It really ain't many. Cause this gonna connect to the computer. The other one's gonna connect to the, the loose wires. There really ain't many loose wires that's gonna be off through here. But it just look crazy right now. I know it go to what though. But the dash is working, baby. I gotta get that um the other connector for it. Yeah, so I can hook all these. So these the switch powers for the transmission and the engine and the grounds i'm gonna hook all these to this fuse box that way all my switch power will be right here keep these over to the side for now but i think i'm gonna go ahead and try to make my connector for my fuel that way i can go ahead and can hook it up to this yeah i can hook it up to this and this one wire gonna go to the on um, holly one wire gonna go to that the 12 volt constants from the holly for both of the holly harnesses i gotta figure out where i'm gonna run, run them but yeah man let me make some more progress and i cut y'all back on we're gonna get it squared away now all right so your boy losing daylight so i just went through the manual the Dakota Digital read everything just to figure out how to hook up this stuff. Like I said, I gotta get up in there somehow and figure that out. <clears throat> what I was doing in the meantime, in between time, is making that right there for the fuel pump. Do that old Deutsch connector up there. That's some pretty work. Now I just gotta get down there and do the one for the fuel pump side because. The wires that's running to it, the stock wires that was running to it, 
no power. Like I got disconnected. Then I took them out of there from the computer and everything. That relay gone. Everything. No power. So I'm running my own wires. There's already a relay in the harness, so I ain't got to worry about the relay. I just got to get the fuel level sensor to the dash, to the Dakota Digital, and the ground for the um the fuel sending unit body to the Dakota Digital. So that's why I'm making my own connector. That stock one, I don't even need it. I'm just going to wrap it up, tuck it up under there somewhere. Cause I ain't mess with none of the bat wire harness, so I'm just gonna leave that connector on it, just get it out of the way, make my own connectors, and go from there. I cut y'all back on. I'm about to go ahead and get down there and make the connector for the Cindy unit wire harness, and I cut y'all back on, show y'all what I don't do. It look pretty dry back here. Yeah, that wire harness is hanging down right there. Take that connector off. Yeah, this type of stuff is is good to figure out and know, cause I could have did this before. Like when I had the tank out, I could have made these, but it is what it is. Let's get it. All right, YouTube. So this right here is gonna run to the inside of the car for the Holly and the Dakota Digital. You know, I just said that in the last clip, but as you see, I got the connector made. All right, so the gray wire, that's the power wire. That's the green, purple, the purple, black, the black. That's that. <clears throat> I got these connectors off Amazon when I had did my LS swap on my OBS. I had some left over. It's a three pin, I think a six pin, an eight pin, and a four pin. I only think I used about two on the OBS. But yeah. That's that. Yeah. Let me get to see if I can figure out. Figure out those wires to the dashboard. Turn signal and all that good stuff. Yeah, like this right here, like I was saying, this is the stock. This is nothing like. I really can take it out the wire harness. It ain't got no fire to it. I tested it. She's getting no power. But yeah. Get some pretty work right there. That's some pretty work. These are sweet connectors. Easy to install. Waterproof. Pretty work. Cut y'all back on. I'm making some more progress. Y'all already know the routine, baby. Let's get it. Okay, another thing I did with that 12 volt switch power, when I tested it at that fuse box up under the dash, I made sure that it had 12 volt power when he was cranking it. So, you know, some 12 volt power sources are black out. It'll cut out once you are um, cranking it. So using the voltmeter, even though it ain't hooked up to a starter, then I turned the key all the way and it still had power. It still had power going to it when I turned the key. So I had to make sure that. So those spots down there in that fuse box are legit. Like I was saying, That one wire coming from that one ignition spot on that fuse box is running to this, providing 12 volt switch power to all six of these. All right, so I got this ground right here running to the battery just so I can test everything, but it's providing the ground for all of these. So the relay, both of the transmission, both of these wire harnesses got a black relay wire for the ground, I'm gonna hook straight to this. Both of them got a red and white, then I'm gonna hook straight to this. So the red and white gonna go to the, the 12 volt switch. The ground's gonna go up there. And I find somewhere to stash all this stuff in here. And that say, make sure that it got a good ground for that fuel pump relay wire. 
Let's see what it say about going straight to the battery. Okay, it say this ground should not be connected at the same location as other grounds. So a lot of this stuff it wants you to find its own ground. Let's see what the um, transmission ground say. It's the transmission line black connect to a good chassis engine ground source. It don't say do not share. That brake switch that's up under the dash, it got a, a white, an orange, and a black with a blue stripe going down it. So I found a little diagram. Okay, it say the white is the cold side of the brake switch and the orange is the hot side. So it'll be the 12 volts. So this gray from the transmission, this gray wire will be connected to where that orange one go. I gotta test that out. I gotta put that voltmeter on there. Test that out. They say this input is used to unlock the torque converter when the brakes are applied. Okay. I gotta do some research on how brake switches work. But it say the 12 volt side, so the orange wire should be the 12 volt side. Do some more research on that. Power red supplies power to the transmission solenoid directly to the battery or a consistent battery source capable of supplying five amps. So on the transmission side, the 12 volt and the ground should be able to go to that fuse box. Yeah, so this should be able to go to the fuse box. We're just gonna have to find a separate ground for it. All right, let me finish doing my research, man. I just wanted to share that with y'all right quick. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm on the internet trying to figure out what wires go to what. So I'm gonna get in here. I gotta figure out what go to the turn signal, the brake, and all that good stuff so I can get it wired to the Dakota Digital Dash. I'm really just trying to get this dash knocked out the way. Have everything wired to the dash, then I worry about starting the engine up. But I'm gonna get this dash squared away right quick. There's a lot of little technical stuff that might be a little tedious, and I wanna figure it out. Go ahead and get it out of the way. So that's where I'm at right now. I already got it getting power and everything, so let me figure this out and I'll cut y'all back on. But making some progress. Making some progress. Got a little power to this baby. Damn, they look so good, man. Oh, it's go time. It's go time, man. Yeah, them lights delayed, too. I gotta figure that out. Something ain't hooked up correctly. But yeah, got my connector made. Got all this stuff figured out. So all the loose wires from the wire harness, I basically got figured out. I just gotta figure out all this stuff for the digital dash. Three loose wires from the main harness. Got that figured out. Four loose wires from the transmission harness. Got that figured out. I am gonna have to calibrate That's another reason why I ain't worried about doing this on um, Holly thing yet, cause this the on um, drive by wire harness. And some stuff gotta be calibrated and done in the system before I can start the car. Once I figure out more information on that, I update y'all on that too. Trunk latch work. I gotta reroute it back through the trunk or whatnot. But I just plug it up to see if it works. But yeah, I gotta figure my lights out. As soon as I turn the ignition, the lights come on. Gotta figure that out. 
I know it ain't no bulbs in the front light harness. No bulbs. So I got to order all the light bulbs. Which would be one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10 bulbs. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. So I got to order 10 bulbs for this baby. Radiator right there. I already got the hoses for the radiator. I'm gonna go ahead and order my power steering lines and fittings. Get everything right for that. For next video, we will be starting it. But I do gotta figure out all my Dakota digital stuff. Gotta get that brake switch stuff squared away. But we got power to that, baby. Let's see. Lights cut off on the inside when you close the door. Turn the key off, the brake lights and stuff go off. I just gotta figure out my little kinks. Gotta work my little kinks out. I'm cleaning up my mess right now, cause I'm about to go ahead and call it a day. Go home and do some more research. We'll go ahead and unhook everything from them battery terminals over there. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. But like I was saying, y'all get them instructions. I'm gonna take them instructions, man. You'll see the crib. Continue to read over there. And I think I put them in the truck. Like I was saying in the instruction manuals for the the throttle body and the gas pedal. Some stuff gotta be calibrated. So I'm gonna read over that again, do my research on that. See what that's talking about. And for my gas pedal, it gotta be mounted. And Scratcher said it should be mounted before attempting to start the car or whatever. But I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to do some modifications. I came over here and played with it a little bit. Like I'm gonna need it to sit about right here. Let's see, about right there. She got good clearance. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a bracket or make a bracket. She's gonna have to be mounted about right there. Just so I can have good clearance for the pedal to be able to function right. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to make something. Something gonna have to be made. Now I know for my OBS, for my OBS, I purchased the bracket that the drive by wire pedal mounts to. Yeah. I was looking at the bracket that the um the stock bracket, I was looking at that. And that might be able to be modified to make a bracket for that. Honestly. So that's what I think I'm gonna try. That'll probably be his own dedicated video. A few things, a few things. Get this baby buttoned up. Yep, power steering lines. Got these. I need to get some more cooling hoses for right there. Go ahead and order them. Run up there to the heater box. And we're going to order them. Make sure I get a nice limb so I can route them pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it don't got dark on me. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Anybody know about them wires up under that steering column that hooked to that Dakota Digital Dash? Or if anybody know about a wire diagram that points them out, what I need to tap into, y'all can share that information with your boy too. It ain't me, I think it's like five. Headlights, tail lights, turn signals. It's on the paper. I gotta read the thing again, but it ain't many that I gotta tap into to get all the stuff functioning on the dash. I can't just have a digital dash or look. She gotta function all the way. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next episode, man. But until then, I'm out. Peace. All right, one more thing before I go. Now, when installing the Dakota Digital, 
this right here was a connector that was connected to the back of the stock dash um, on this phone with him and shaky. This connected, these wires right here was connected to the back of the stock dash. I'm betting that every wire that I need to control this dash is in this um in this harness right here. This looks like it might be about 10 wires. So all I gotta do is find a dashboard. I need to find a diagram. I need one of them goddamn books. But I guarantee you, every wire that I need is right here. I got a feeling. Cause this was going straight to the dashboard. Yeah, this was every wire to the dashboard. So turn signals. I guarantee you all of them is in this. I just gotta figure out which is what. I just wanna show y'all that right quick. I'm still out here brainstorming. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out.